So in the first part of this video, we had built our Android app and pushed its binary to our remote servers using Expo. In this video, I'll show you how to build our iOS app. So starting out in our project folder in the terminal, we need to make sure that we're logged into Expo. So just type in exp login. It already shows that I'm logged in, so I'll remain logged in as myself. Next, run exp build iOS. So like in our Android app, we let Expo handle all our credentials. Apple will then ask for your user ID and password. And again, it'll ask you if you want to provide your own distribution certificate, but in our case, we'll just let Expo handle it for us. Also for the push certificate, we'll let Expo handle it. Seems like I'm getting this error which says multiple profiles found with the same name. Let's try and change our bundle identifier for iOS and see if that works. So in app.json, I'm just going to change this to two. I think this is more of an issue because I'd already uploaded this app and I'm trying to do it again. Also, I'm just going to run local auth with a dash C again. This removes all credentials that existed earlier and tries to build them again. And there we see our build process has started and there should not be an error now. And there we've got a link to our iOS application bundle. Let's check that out. And as you can see, the build is in progress. Just one more thing I want to point out here. You might get another error when you try and run this line of code here. exp build iOS local auth dash C. That's because when you were trying your earlier build, your distribution certificates might have got published and you'll get this error saying that maximum number of certificates generated. So all you need to do is you need to come to your developer console. And here, when you come into all, you will see these certificates here. So just select them and click on revoke. Once these are cleared, then you can try the build process again and there should be no problem.